and welcome if you are new. I know that I get a, a lot of new viewers for home tour videos, so I wanted to give y'all a big warm welcome. And in today's video, we are going to be doing our fall home tour. Now, I know that it's a little behind. I usually like to get my fall home tours done in September, but we are in our new home, our new build that we have built on the family farm. And it took us 10 years to get here, and here we are. But we were a little behind schedule with the home tour because we were getting moved in and settled. Y'all are still loving the fall videos and still hoping to get some fall inspiration. Now, usually around this time, I'm starting to kind of kick off and decorate for Halloween in a fun way. But I'm not even real sure if we're going to do big on Halloween this year. I'm loving our fall decorations so much, but we will see if we do, it'll probably be um, middle of October that we start adding in just a few touches just to make it fun and festive. But before we get started on this home tour, I did want to thank all of you that have been here with us from the very beginning, from maybe our first home tours whenever we lived in the double wide. I wanted to thank y'all so much for being here with me. And honestly, thank y'all from the bottom of my heart if you actually hit that subscribe button. It is completely free to you and it helps helps out our little channel so much and I find myself almost daily refreshing it because we're getting so close to 40,000 and so I am so hoping by the end of this video that we hit that little milestone that we have been working on. I love working on little goals and so I wanted to ask y'all that if you have been with us or if you're new here and if you see something that you like pause the video and hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment if you're new so you can introduce yourself because I love meeting new friends. I've met so many of y'all out and about. I had lipstick on my teeth. I got to meet several of y'all and it just warms my heart. So I wanted to tell you too, if you ever see me or my friends and family that y'all see on my YouTube channel out and about, definitely come up to us and say, hey, because we love that. That's why I'm here. I love meeting new people and just the community that we have built here together. It just makes me so happy. And y'all are all just so sweet. I consider y'all like family. Like honestly, y'all are like in my thoughts and prayers daily. I don't know you guys personally, which is you all probably feel like that y'all know us because I really put our lives out there but just know that I am always thinking about you guys and I just really love and adore y'all so much we would not have this YouTube channel if it wasn't for y'all so I appreciate y'all and all that y'all have done to help this channel grow from hitting that subscribe button to liking the videos or commenting some of your ideas or how much that you love things or things that y'all think that I should change things that you're doing in your holiday season I love seeing those okay I feel like I have been chatty enough so we're gonna go ahead and start this home tour. So we're gonna start at the front of the house today and I'm gonna share with y'all some things that we are loving and some things that we have to change. I love our front porch. Always, always dreamed of having a big front porch to go to decorate for the seasons. And I loved how this season turned out. We'll go ahead and address this. So I had bought these a few months ago and Drew put them in, they were doing great. I don't know what happened, but I'm usually, I usually have a green thumb, but something about this kind of texture of a plant, I cannot keep alive. So I'm going to go to Petals from the Past today and then uh, talk with Jason there. They're our local plant nursery that we love so much and try to get different things to go here because I should have known I was going to kill these. So I'm going to get through, I'm planning on doing that after the home tour today. And then we will, we will get more black mulch and then we're planning on getting more sod to go around but this is just rough drafts still got to get the weeds out you would think that i would have everything perfect for a home tour it's perfect to me i'm so excited to be in this house but there are a few things that you're going to see that we are still working on and we have came such a long way i'm so excited about it we did a whole front porch decorate with me but we added a few things i did add this beautiful orange velvet ribbon that i got from hobby lobby to our corn stalks and then drew spray painted these old pumpkins I got from the thrift store. They were very faded. They're very orange right now, but I know once the sun continues to hit them, they're going to fade a little bit more. So uh, I was fine with the color because they're going to fade so fast. We get a lot of sun on the front porch. And then we just have pumpkins and moms and hay bales, our pretty wreaths. And then we did spray paint this black. It was green and I tucked these in here actually could have done a little bit better of a job on that now that I'm seeing that. But we're going to come back out here and decorate a little bit for Halloween too. So I'm going to fix that and then add a pretty black and white ribbon. And then these little jack-o'-lanterns light up. I got these from the thrift store. And 
some pumpkins and mums, and we are going to my cousin's pumpkin patch this year. So I will get more pumpkins there. And then over here, I did add these blankets that I got from Target. And I love the texture of these and how it looks out here on our porch. So we can have a little blanket to cover up with because it's been a little chilly at night here. And then over here in our bird bath, we need to pull that weed. That is a big weed. But over here in our bird bath, y'all remember I spray painted those pumpkins? Well, it didn't work for me. I think the sun just pounces it too hard here. But these were only a dollar. So I probably am going to get a handful of these whenever I go to the pumpkin patch and add them in here. So that is what our little bird bath looks like. And then we will go on inside to see what everything looks like in here. So here we are going inside into our foyer. And I love how our foyer has turned out so far. There is a few things. Well, not a few things. There's one thing I want to add. So Drew hung this mirror up for us. And I really want to find a bench to go right here. And I'll show you why in a second. But let's look over here at this beautiful foyer piece that I got from our local antique store, Rustic Relics. And then I did add a rug. A lot of my rugs came from that at-home store. And over here on our foyer, this is what we have for the fall. Usually I go all out and there's pumpkins everywhere, but I just liked how this looked and I loved just the touches of this orange. I thought it was so pretty. I got these florals at Hobby Lobby and this vase from Hobby Lobby too. And then I got that at Hobby Lobby on clearance and that at Hobby Lobby and the rest of it I had. So Hobby Lobby's had really cute stuff lately. Usually I don't shop and go all out there, but I've really been liking what they had. And then over here we just have our diffuser going and I have thieves going in it. So it's like a very fallish scent. We don't burn candles from Bath and Body Works or any of those other places in our home. We just use diffusers because it's like better air quality and we don't get the headaches or have the seasonal allergies like, like we used to whenever we used to burn candles. But we won't get into that. I've told you all about that so many times. And I think that actually I may do like a little separate video on why we don't in case you're interested in that. You can always follow me on Instagram to kind of see what we do for a little bit more natural living. So this is our foyer. I love this. And I saw some beautiful fall florals I thought would be pretty in here, but I had this already. But fall time next year, I really wanna go all out in the foyer. I've been looking for a beautiful fall piece to go in here and to put leaves, but we're kind of working with what we had this year. We may do that next year, but for now, I just love how this just looks. It just looks cozy and simple. And then I'm going to back the camera up so you can see it kind of looks a little bit blurry. But the reason that I want a bench to go there is because this rug is actually centered to the doors. And I feel like if I put a bench there, it'd be really cute to put throw pillows and blankets in for each season. But it'll just kind of make the space come more together and look a little bit more symmetrical. So I do want to find a really cool bench to go there. So we're on the lookout for that. So before we even go in here, if you're new to my channel, a lot of y'all think that this space looks really crowded and when you're in here we've had several people over here already and it's not crowded at all um, everybody loves this setup so i think it's just the view of the camera there's plenty of room to walk in do the things around here maddie's over there asleep so we'll go in here so we have this chair and i just threw this pillow in it because honestly i still had this pillow and it just put a little pop of orange here and then we got this new table and then I just put a little, I got this vase from Hobby Lobby, this little LED light. And at night, it's so beautiful. I'm going to try to do a glimpse of the house at night. And then this chair, a lot of you hate, y'all don't like it. Um, Drew loves it and it's comfortable for him. And honestly, it's not that bad in here. I probably am going to look for something that fits our space a little bit better, probably in the new year. But I've just been so busy and so many things to do on our to-do list. It's, that's just one of my least, that's the least concern that I have. Probably gonna do like a cream recliner or something like that. I think that they sent me the wrong color, but whenever I looked at the two, the colors that they had, that one might've been it. I thought it was more of a camel color, but we're gonna work on that later. And then over here, I just love how cozy this feels. We can set a lot of guests over here to watch movies or football games or just hang out. I have a lot of videos that are decorate with me, so we're not gonna talk about every little thing because a lot of y'all have probably already seen all this. We're just gonna go through 
and just show y'all what the house looks like for fall. And if you want to see those videos and where everything came from, you can go watch the uh, Decorate With Me's for each of the rooms. But I love this little area and how it turned out. And I love our built-ins. Decorating the built-ins was so much fun. And then we just have a little uh, autumn scene on YouTube. I put these on every day that I'm here and it has a little jazz with it. And you can hear the fire crackling. I just really like these. And this is the one that we picked for today. And then Drew and I, like I said, are going to the pumpkin patch and I'm going to change out that picture. That picture has been in there for years. So I'm going to change that one out once we go. And this is just kind of a look. And then all of my diffusers came from Young Living, except for this one. This one actually is like a little pumpkin one. I got it on Walmart online last year and it is so cute. And these are my little fall oil blends that Young Living came out with that we're using. Ginger Snaps is in this one. Cozy Cabin is in our bathroom and Orange Spice Cider is in our kitchen. And then over here is the other side. This is an old typewriter and then this little picture frame with this little Bible verse and it was gifted to me from one of you a sweet subscriber and I just put it on the typewriter I thought it was really pretty and then I like having these on at night that basket with the full of the LED candles it is so cozy and I love these I really want to decorate for Halloween because I like decorating for Halloween I don't think I'm going to go all out this year though like I usually do because I just love how our fall decorations look. Um, usually I do a big Halloween tree and we might do that next year, but this year we've just had a lot going on. We might decorate closer to the end of October a lot more. We'll just kind of see how we're feeling, but let me know if you're interested in that, if we should decorate full out for Halloween or if you're okay with just a little bit of touches. I love this little book stand that I got from Kirkland's. I feel like these are gonna be very popular. And you're going to see these a lot more, I feel like. This is so nice to just display books. A lot of you asked me what book this was. And this is Cozy White Cottage Seasons. And this is by Liz Marie. She has um, an Instagram account. I love watching her. So, it is a really cool book, too. It has all the different seasons. It has, like, a fall bucket list. It's a really fun little read, too. I read that out on the back porch swing the other day. And then I just have one single pillow here and I put these little cozy blankets that I got from Target last year on these couches. Usually I have the couches full of pillows, but we've been having some company and it's just been nice not having the couches cluttered with pillows. Um, but Christmas time, we probably are going to have a lot of pillows. I'm not ready to decorate for Christmas, but I have been pinning some th things and gathering some ideas, and I'm pretty excited about it. This is our little dining room area, and uh, I think we are going to put this in our bedroom for the winter season and then try to look for a big piece to fill this wall. I didn't think that I wanted to get one, but I think that we are now and I'm gonna put like some seasonal dishes. The reason I didn't think I wanted to put like a china hutch there is because we already had in the kitchen these little glass cabinets to display dishes, but I think that's gonna look the best. So we'll see, stay tuned for that. And then over here, Again, I'm not telling y'all where I got every little thing because I did like room decorates with me's where I went into full detail. I didn't set our dining room table. I ended up just keeping all of my little napkins and these ring napkin holders over here displayed because we've been eating at the dinner table a lot. So I just kept that over here. And then one of my favorite pieces came from an estate sale. And this is what I want, something like this in the foyer. Um, but it, they're hard to find. So I'm hoping to stumble upon one to use in our foyer for fall next year. But I just love this picture so much. We probably are gonna get some kind of blinds to go on the front windows. And then we do wanna drop the chandelier down a little bit more. But other than that, oh, let me show you over here. So in the Decorate With Me video, y'all saw that I had three candlesticks when my sister used them for a baby shower because um, her sister-in-law is having a baby. And so whenever I was doing this video, I was like, oh no, I forgot she had those. So I just grabbed these out that my good friend Kaylee gifted me for my birthday one year. And 
this one's just hanging back here. Usually I have three, but we just have two for now. But I love those little candlesticks. I got those at Hobby Lobby. And then this mirror, you can see it's scratched, but I got it from the thrift store and it has the roses on it and I absolutely love them. But it has some character to it because it's a little scratched up and I probably need to clean the mirrors. Okay, we're gonna go this way into the hallway. I didn't decorate much in the guest bathroom, but I'll share with y'all. This is just storage right now. We're not doing anything with it. And then a lot of y'all have been saying about the white covers. It didn't even bother me until y'all said something, but I think I found some brass covers to go on them. I think it's gonna be really pretty. This is one of the pictures that we got to put up. Let's see, whenever I turn this one on, it's a little yellow though. But this is the picture that Addison took of us on our front porch. And I love how this turned out on this black wall. And you'll see I want to get a pumpkin patch picture for the other side. But we haven't been yet. So that one, you'll have to come back to my videos to see that one later. So this is our guest bathroom. And honestly, I think this is my favorite bathroom. I absolutely love the colors in here and how it looks. And not a lot of pumpkins and things, but just some fallish colors. So some black eucalyptus, I got this from Hobby Lobby. A candle that I made, I forgot to tell y'all that, the one in the living room. So I made these with my own wax and the Young Living oils. I love making these candles. And then I like to keep these little glass bottles of water beside my diffuser so they're easy to fill. And then I found this picture at Hobby Lobby too and I really liked it a lot. Oh, I didn't take the cardboard all the way off. But this is just simple in here. And then I'll show y'all this in case you're new to my channel. This is, it's like a Jack and Jill bathroom and it has like a door to close off for some privacy, but there's no fall in here. We haven't really decorated in here at all. I will tell y'all that my plans for, I don't know if I'll get to it before Christmas, probably be the new year, but I want to paint this black and then really style and decorate this and add some artwork in here. I think it's gonna be a really cool and pretty guest bathroom whenever we get to it. It's already beautiful, but I wanna do a little bit more projects in here. And then here's what I was talking about. The other side is naked. We don't have a picture in it yet, but we are going to the pumpkin patch Thursday and I'm gonna be sharing with y'all that and another little event that we're having in our small town called the Sweetest Festival. There'll be lots of booths there and vendors. So we're gonna take y'all there. So that will be for Sunday's video. And then um, hopefully we'll get a picture printed to go there. And I love how those pictures look. This is a guest room. I do have it set up, but it's not my favorite. So I'm not gonna share it with y'all. And then I did add this clock from Hobby Lobby too. And then over here, I needed a basket to put my blankets in, but I remembered I had this little stool and I loved it. So I just threw it in the corner and these are the blankets that I use. They're not Barefoot Dreams, they look like it. These came from Home Goods and TJ Maxx. They're so soft like the Barefoot Dreams and like more than half the price. So these are the blankets that I use and those are just for pretty. I forgot to share with y'all the chandelier light for in here too. And then going into our kitchen. I love our kitchen. I've been cooking so much in here. It's just so nice. We're just so thankful for this space. So I had this that I got from Target last year and I decided to go ahead and add it for a pop of color. I love using the oranges and like the true fall colors in our home. This rug I got from Target a couple of years also. And it just makes it feel just all the autumn feels in here. I have been cooking a lot of the out of this cookbook. This is the Magnolia Table Cookbook. I have version one and two, and I've been cooking a lot from it. And then I'll show you my little butter dish because I love it. I got this from Anthropology. It's so little and cute. And then I loved the sign that we added above our range hood. And then over here, I did add some things to our refrigerator. It just feels so homey. A lot of people, I think, keep their refrigerators clean, but I like having these like little details. So I printed this off of Pinterest. I've had this for years, the fall bucket list. Um, and then this is just some essential oil blends that you can make. 
And so we got these off of Etsy. And then this is so sweet. My little niece came over here with me and we went outside and picked some leaves and she came out with the idea that she wanted to make a butterfly. So we made a butterfly out of things in nature, leaves, a stick. This is just like, um, I can't even remember what that was. It was just like hay or something outside. So, or like a weed. So we did that and I'll show you Eli's too. Have a little wreath on the pantry. I really wanted to get a bigger wreath, but I just put that one up there for now because I had it, but next year we'll probably have a bigger fall wreath. And I'm gonna show y'all the pantry in another video. It is so cute in there. We have a big pantry. It's like my little breakfast area and it is adorable, but I'm waiting for some cabinets to get added. And then we're gonna do like a little decorate with me in there and then make a little breakfast. And over here, we just have this little setup. These two were gifts. This was from my cousin Kayla, and this was from one of my sweet subscribers. I've had this for a few years now, and it is broke. I had to glue it back together, but I kind of hid it because I love this little dish. But I do want to get some canisters to go here because this is like my baking area. Like I want to have my flour and sugar, and confectionery sugar, because all of this is like for me to bake. I love making like cupcakes and fun seasonal things. And I really wanted to start up this holiday season making more things. And then this is that little pumpkin candle that I made from the thrift store. Y'all saw that on one of my videos. And I also have a reel and TikTok video. If you want to go follow me over there to see how I do these little things, I do a lot of little DIY stuff. And I've been trying to up my real game on Instagram. I can't get into TikTok. I have tried and tried and I'll probably keep trying, but it's just not my favorite. I really like the Instagram reels. So we've been doing that. And again, this is made with my essential oils and then just this little floral arrangement in here. And then I love our little black island. And then over here is where my little nephew, he came home from school and saw mine and my little niece's craft and he was like, I wanna to craft too. So we made a pumpkin. It's a piece of cardboard we cut out to a circle and then he went and collected leaves and we put Mod Podge on it, but my Mod Podge had glitter, but I think it's so cute. And then this little stick out of it. So I don't know about you, but I love having those little touches of homemade little crafts in our home that I try to make with the kids each season. Just, just a display and I've kept the ones that we've made together um, throughout the last couple of years and they just make me so happy. So I just put that in the little window. It was too heavy to hang on the refrigerator. And then over here, I did get these pumpkins as you already saw and I got these from Trader Joe's and I just put those in this beautiful copper bowl. I got this from an antique store. Again, Rustic Relics. I get a lot of things from Rustic Relics that's from around here. We're actually gonna go shop in there and do a lot of stuff in my downtown area because we have really cute shops and y'all know that I love shopping local and supporting them. And a lot of y'all have come here to visit and I thank y'all for that so much and supporting our small town because I love our little community. So we're gonna go there and be shopping like fall, Halloween, Christmas, different things. So y'all can see what's all there. And then over here, so pretty. Again, a sweet subscriber friend gifted me this whole bundle of plates. And I am so thankful because I love them so much. I have some plates I was gonna use for Halloween that are black, but it's making me so sad to think about taking these down. So we'll see if I do that this year or not. I may just leave it just like this. So that's what we have in these cabinets and then pretty much the same over here. And then these little cups I got from Hobby Lobby, these little glass cups. So this is, what's on this side? And then our kitchen sink, we have loved it so much. Love this faucet that was gifted to us for a collab. We are so thankful for all the collab opportunities that we've had here on our channel. There has been some very unique pieces that we have been able to display in our home and we just love and appreciate them all so much. And then we have over here, this beautiful little, I got this at Vintage Market Days and Addison and I tried to go in there this year, but we looked at the times wrong. And so the day we were gonna go, they weren't even open. So we missed going to that this year. So I was pretty sad about that, but I did get this there last year. I love all the little homemade gifts and going to those big places with all the vendors there with unique items. It's like you get to shop Etsy in real life. And then my cleaners and dish soaps with my thieves stuff. And then over here, 
our little potho is trying its hardest to make it. It's doing pretty good though. And then I have another diffuser going over here. This is the one that has that orange, si orange spice cider and it smells incredible in the house. I think that's all in the kitchen. Yeah, let's go in here. So a lot of y'all haven't seen this. So when I tell y'all I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed. At first I thought it was too big, but we have gotten used to it now and we love it. Everybody that comes in here, their mouth drops open and they're like, oh my gosh, where did you get that? And they never believe me whenever they, I tell them that my mom and dad got it for us for Christmas from the thrift store. And I love this piece. So we were planning on doing the like lockers right here, like the little, um, I can't remember what that's called, but you know, the little uh, like mudroom area. But my sister has one of those and she said, you're really not gonna love that because it does not say as pretty as you want because everybody throws their things there. So whenever my mom and dad got me this, this was originally supposed to go in the foyer and one day before we moved in, it hit me that this needed to go here. Because this is actually, I'm not gonna open it up because it's not completely organized. This is gonna be a project I really wanna work on in the new year. Well, I'll show you this. So it looks like it's yours, but it's not, it's a cabinet. So it opens up and it has a shelf in it and you can, I can put my purses. If people come in, they can put their coats and their purses and just little knickknacks can be thrown in there and tucked away and hidden. And then these are actual drawers. And so lots of storage in here. So I am obsessed with this piece. We didn't paint it or anything. It came just like this. And then for now, I just have some of my plants that I have thrown up there from around the house. And I'm telling you, I just love how it looks in here. So this is coming off of the garage, the door behind me, and you go upstairs to the bonus room. And then this is going into our bedroom. And then I have this sign here that I love. And my cousin Kayla has it too, if you saw her home tour. We got this from Home Goods, and I love this song so much. So whenever I saw it, I knew that I had to get it. And then I thought that I was going to do like a pretty garland right here for fall. I'm definitely going to do one for Christmas, but take the time and didn't really look for one for the fall time to put right there. But next year, we'll probably go even more all out for fall than what we did this year. Like I said, this year we were just getting settled in our home and it just felt cozy the way that it was. And y'all saw the bedroom decorate with me. There's not pumpkins or anything. Well, there is one pumpkin, but this is our beautiful bedroom and I just loved how it turned out with just the pops of that amber quilt that I got from Target. It is back. I have been looking for this thing for so many, I feel like two or three years now because I've had it for a while and I cannot ever find it because y'all always ask me about it and they do, the, do have this one back in stock and it's so perfect for I feel like all the holidays. Like it's really pretty in here for, at Christmas time too. And then we did get a new headboard and footboard and you probably already saw it. And we got this from the thrift store. My mom found it. I'm telling you, my mom's really good at finding things at the thrift store. But my cousin Kayla said I needed to get up on it so you could see it wasn't all black. It does have lots of character and distressing in it. And I am just obsessed <laughs> with this headboard. I mean, it is just absolutely stunning. So I don't know where this originally came from. I would have liked to known and liked to known what the price used to be on it. I still have these nightstands, and now that I've kind of got some things checked off of our list, the next thing on my list is going to be to find different nightstands for in here because it's too farmhousey with this new headboard. So I want to look for different nightstands to go in here. I think I'm going to look for a different bench. Y'all let me know. If I found different nightstands, do y'all think that the bench goes with it in here, or should I look for a different bench? I think what I'm gonna do first is look for the nightstands and then go from there. But my plans are, and I didn't think this was gonna work in here, but it does. And I'm so thankful because I love this piece. So even, this, even though it's a little bit more white and distressed and farmhousey, it is so big and massive and it holds so many clothes. Like the drawers are so deep, I wanted to make it work. So I think once I find different nightstands, it will all tie in together and just be beautiful. What our bedroom looks like and at night it has the LED candles and it is so just romantic and cozy. I just really adore this room. And then we do have one little pumpkin here. And then I feel like with the pumpkin, the TV scene, and the candlesticks add in just the right amount of fall. And then y'all ignore my little ring light over here. And then going into our bathroom, 
We are gonna add different blinds in here. I just wanted something thrown up in here without thinking, like I just ordered these white ones just fast as I could off of Amazon just to get something on this window where we could have some privacy in here. But in the new year, I am gonna be looking for a different idea for the blinds. And I love our bathtub. I did change out our rug from our previous little decorate with me in here. And then we did add this little fall candle in here. So this one did have a candle in it. I had had it for years and I took it out and I made my own candle. We haven't even burned it yet in here. This one is a natural candle as well now. And then over here, this is Drew's side. And just the touch of the florals over here made it a little fallish. And then we do have in this diffuser. I really like this scent. So we have that going in here. And then over here we have my side and there's no like fall touches over here. I thought about putting like a little vase in here with a little floral arrangement of things that I've picked outside, but I kind of do that on the daily. So if you want to follow me over on Instagram, I kind of share how I add things and then once they die, I take them away. So we kind of do that over on Instagram. And then I do want to get a prettier little mirror right here, like maybe a gold one to sit right here for me to sit down and do my makeup on. But I feel like all the like gold and yellow touches make it feel, whoops, so much like fall time. I really have been enjoying our bathroom and bedroom. Ignore the box fan. So now we're gonna go out on our back patio. So you can go out this way or through the living room. So this is a little bistro set that we have out here right when you first walk out. And then that's the door that goes back into the living room. And then here's the area that is just so perfect. It feels so good out here now. There's been lots of breezes coming through. Actually, Drew and I were in the living room the other night and I said, look, you can tell it's fall outside because our swing was rocking back and forth. That was, it was so sweet. So this is our little patio area that we enjoy watching movies out here. And Drew cooks um, on the Blackstone a lot out here. And uh, I kind of moved the, y'all, I did a decorate with me out here too, but I kind of moved the uh, flowers around because this flower was sitting up here and it kept falling over and you'll see it's kind of gotten destroyed for doing that so i kind of moved it and it kind of freed up this table so now people sit here they have a place to put their food or beverage and then over here just some more moms and honestly y'all i told y'all that i bought these moms with just buds but here we are in october and they still haven't bloomed out and pretty much the beginning of november all this stuff gets gone and we start doing christmas so next year i might by my mom's with a little bit more blooms on them so I can enjoy them longer because they just now are starting to bloom out good. So we'll see. If you're like me and you start doing Christmas right around November, you probably want your mom's to bloom out sooner than what mine did. And then you can see this little flower right here. It has just fallen over from the wind. So it's a little beat up. But this is our little outdoor area. And then this garland was all pretty for my little decorate with me out here, but the wind has just been crazy. I think it's from the hurricanes and all that came through. Some of the winds, maybe that we got off of it, or maybe it's just fall, I don't know. But my little leaf garland got a little messed up. I think I'm gonna add some Halloween touches out here. I have some pumpkin lights I wanna add out here and make it a little bit more festive for Halloween out here for sure. And y'all ignore that, they're working on a water line or something. And then over here, a little bed swing enjoyed this so much y'all saw the little mouse jump out at me on my decorate with me video out here and then we are waiting on it should be here any day i was hoping it's gonna be here for my home tour but it'll be okay we're gonna um put it out here whenever we start decorating for halloween out here but a beautiful canvas that's gonna say like autumn farms pumpkin patch is supposed to be coming to me and it is supposed to be filling up this whole wall and i am so excited about that it's gonna just add the perfect touch to that area and then we also have the little string lights out here too and then here's our little couch and then real life i have boxes that need to be burned over here so y'all ignore those so i think that is all for the home tour i didn't want it to be too chatty like my other home tours have been in the past because i didn't want to bore you guys but i hope that y'all enjoyed seeing it i am going to show y'all what it looks like at night 
And, oh, also while I'm thinking about it, we are wanting to get a big rug to go up under here, but that's a project for another day. One little project at a time and then um, change up the dining room, this area and this just a little bit. We want to get a bar cart. Hope I can find one before Halloween time because I have a really cool idea for it kind of want it to go in this corner and decorate it up but if I can't find it then we're gonna do this area how I wanted to do the bar cart because it will work okay friends here is the front porch what it looks like at night I did turn the lights on so you could see it better I think I'll turn it off too because that one is the solar light and so whenever it's all dark out here that one comes on and then I have a timer that I bought from Amazon for these guys. So they come on at a certain time and go off every night. But I just love how it looks out here. Let's go turn off all the lights. So we have that cute little jack-o'-lantern. And then these, these are really bright. But I just love how just the glowy lights look and whenever people ride by. And I think I do wanna get some more lights to put out here too. So I might do that for the Halloween time. And now Maddie's waiting on us to come in to see the house what it looks like at night. And then here is the room at night. I love how those candles come on. I'm gonna turn the fireplace lights off now so you can see. So here's the coziness of just the candle glow. So cozy, and if it was cold enough here, we would have the fireplace going, but sadly, it doesn't get cold enough here to use that till almost winter time. So, we have to use the fires and the crackling sound from the fires on the TVs. All the coziness. So, this is just tons of candles. I've told y'all before, this was an accident. I had all these candles in a basket in storage, and I thought it would be beautiful just to have them displayed on the built-ins and it made like the perfect ambiance. And then here is the bedroom, what it looks like. I love how the candles just dance on the walls. And I had to steal a candle from the living room because usually there's a bigger candle, this taller one. I have to get batteries for it though. But usually it's in her and so it sets up just a little bit higher than batteries for it this weekend. But usually it's a little bit higher, so it shows more of a glow. But you get the idea. All these little LED candles I'm here for. You can get them on Amazon or you can get them at Hobby Lobby. Now, they are a little bit more pricey. But if you want them to look really good, I would get the ones that dance. See, they just look more realistic. And these are all on timers to us. So I just set the timers on at 7 o'clock. So they come on about 7 o'clock every evening. And they all run for different hours. But... Um, they'll all go off by themselves and then come back on the next day at the same time. Hey friends, well that is all for today's video. I hope that y'all enjoyed it so much. I hope that it gave y'all lots of inspiration. Whether you're through with your fall decorations, it's something that you can put on your to-do list for next year or if you just like sitting back and watching these fall videos. I've been loving watching so many YouTubers this season, whether it's like fall shop with me's or fall day in the lies. I've been liking watching that more than regular TV. It just is so common and relaxing to me. I just love seeing how they are all so creative in their filming and their decorating. Again, I want to ask that if you have been here or this is your first time here and you saw something that you liked, I just want to ask if you would go ahead and hit that subscribe button and be with us for the rest of the holiday season. We have so many fun things we're going to be doing, especially during Christmas time. Like I said, I'm in no way ready to start decorating for Christmas because I love our fall. It's just so cozy, but I have been seeing some Christmas things and pinning it and thinking of things that I already have and can use and we're going to put it in our new space and I'm really excited about it. I'll see you guys Sunday. We are going to my cousin Rachel's pumpkin patch. It is amazing. I love her pumpkin patch. So we're going to be heading there with my family. And then we're also going to be going to our small town sweetest festival where there'll be lots of little booths and vendors to shop at. And we're going to see what's there. Again, thank y'all so much. I keep saying it over and over, but thank y'all so much for being with us over here on this channel and loving us like you do. I hope that God blesses you and your family abundantly during this holiday season. And we will see you guys on the very next one. Bye friends. Oh, 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 oh,